volume profiles are easily some of the most important and effective trading tools any trader can have. And on TradingView, they can be accessed from the Indicators, Metrics, and Strategies menu, then by clicking Technicals, then finding Profiles, and clicking that. From here, you will see all of the profiles available to you, but for this specific video, the volume profiles that are available to you. And you can even see here that we've favorited each volume profile to make it stand out right here before your eyes. Now, volume profiles will show you how much volume occurred at each price level. Let us click visible range volume profile to have that added to our chart just like that, because this introduction is going to give you the primer you need to fully understand this tool. Now, visible range volume profile auto recalculates depending depending on how much of the chart we are looking at. So as you can see here, we've just moved our chart to a different starting point, which appears to be November 6th. And just like that, the volume profile has recalculated. So what are we looking at? Well, these are volume bars. And these volume bars are intrinsically connected to the price scale to show us which price points attracted the most trading volume. So we're going to zoom in here a little bit to get a closer look at this daily chart of Apple. And now it's recalculated to show us that about $190 per share is the most traded region since this starting bar in May 7th of 2024. So this is why the volume profile is different and powerful and effective. Because unlike normal volume bars or the volume indicator, which many of you are already familiar with or have seen before, they don't just show you the, the amount of volume, they show you the volume by price. Because volume bars just show you how much trading volume occurred at each time interval. As mentioned, we're on a daily chart, so each candlestick shows one full day of trading, and that means by extension, each volume bar shows how much trading action occurred in that day. Volume profiles are different and require immense calculation and sorting of data because they show you how much trading volume occurred at each price level. That means the volume bar looks at all of this price information, all of the trading that occurred, and then turns it into this volume profile intrinsically connected to price. So how much volume occurred at each price level. Now it's important to say that each volume profile that is given to you on TradingView does something similar to this. So you now have a high level overview to utilize all of these volume profiles and to take advantage of them to study markets, to get prepared, and to look for new trades and opportunities. So what we want to do now in this next part of the video is give you a quick walkthrough of volume profiles and how to think about each one. So keep in mind as we show you these volume profiles that if you click the tooltip icon here, you will get an additional deep dive into each volume profile with the math behind each volume profile. Also on our YouTube channel, we have deep walkthroughs about these volume profiles with real examples. So if you're looking to learn more, go check out those videos. Let's get started now by walking you through all of these volume profiles so that you know what you have access to and why this is so important to the trading community. Okay, let's click auto anchored volume profile. This is a fascinating tool because it is an auto anchored volume profile. Meaning once we click that tool, the TradingView platform looks at the price information that we are looking at and then it shows us what it believes to be the most important volume profile right now for Apple. Now, what's fascinating about this automatic volume profile is check out the current price action. It is below this auto volume profile. This is happening right now. There could be a trend change occurring right before our eyes because what we now want to talk about is the red line that goes through each volume profile. You will notice that no matter what volume profile you select, the volume bar, which means that's the most trading volume that has a red line going through it, is a way to indicate that that price level has attracted the most volume. When you double click on your volume profile and go to style, you will even see a box that's checked called POC. And then you see red here and it's a line. But of course, you can change this to any color that you wish or any style. You can see the line has changed. And this POC stands for point of control, meaning this price level has attracted the most trading action 
in this specific time period, and it is now indicated as the point of control. Imagine the buyers and the sellers in a battle, the bulls versus the bears, and whoever wins at the point of control, control is essentially in the lead or is winning. So the point of control is a way to show you the price level that's attracted the most volume and theory, theoretically it might be the most important price level to see who's winning, the buyers or the sellers. Now let's keep it moving because you're going to learn something new in each of these quick high level overviews of the volume profile tools and the advanced capabilities that they have. Let's now click fixed range volume profile. This is an incredibly powerful tool because as you'll see, you have the ability to click at a starting point on the chart. Let's click the day after earnings, so we're going to click here, and then click an ending point. Now what we just did is we told the TradingView platform to calculate a volume profile for us from this day after earnings to the most recent price action, and that is displayed to us right here. We can also see the point of control with the red line, and we can see these volume bars showing us each price level that attracted the most volume. Now's a good time to also point out a similarity that many of the volume profiles have in this overview video, and that is that it shows up volume and down volume. Up volume is going to show you volume whereby price was moving up in that context of the trading volume. It went upward in that transaction. Down volume is going to show you down volume. Price went down when that transaction occurred. Each transaction is a trade, a buyer and a seller. It's registered as volume, so you can see the up volume and down volume. When you add the two together, that's how you get your total volume. So we can see the up volume and down volume, the point of control, and because we used our fixed range volume profile, we get to select the areas that we want to calculate. Next up is periodic volume profile. This is a tool specifically for traders who like to look for specific patterns or calculate areas throughout the entire history of the chart. So you'll see that there is a volume profile everywhere on this chart, but keep in mind with the periodic volume profile, you get to customize where you want that volume profile to calculate. So when you go to inputs, you'll see that it says period one bar. Well, we're currently on a daily chart of Apple, so each bar is one day. But why don't we do one week? How about we only get a volume profile each week? So we get to set the period and then it's applied on our chart consistently for each of these periods. In this case, it's a week. So we can see there's five days in a trading week. Just count the candles because we're on a daily chart. One, two, three, four, five. So here's a week. One, two, three, four, five. That's a week. So this is a tool, the periodic volume profile, to calculate volume profiles at specific periods in a repetitive fashion. Okay, let's remove this off our chart and keep moving because the next tool is the session volume profile. Now the session volume profile is a tool that is often very helpful for traders who are trading daily, day traders. Because when you have session volume profile, it's going to show you a volume profile for this specific session. Now we're on a daily chart. The stock market is open from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and this is showing us a volume profile every time the opening bell rings at the New York Stock Exchange. We're looking at Apple. Well, Apple's on the NASDAQ, so at the NASDAQ when that opening bell goes off. So if we are a day trader looking for levels on a daily basis, we can use this to get a feel for each session. Now keep in mind, if you're not a stock trader, maybe you're a Forex trader, or maybe you are a crypto trader, you can do this in a similar fashion as well just by changing the symbol. Now for the next step here, let's go ahead and go to Session Volume HD. Session Volume HD is a very important tool, especially for day traders who are in this professionally, because if you zoom in on your now your session profile, it's going to automatically adjust and recalculate to fit and size within your screen. And you can see just how detailed it is as well. As, as well. So if we zoom out, watch how the bars change, you can see. Now if we zoom in, watch how they change. And that is because it is recalculating to give you an advanced look and a granular look depending on your zoom and what you are looking at on your chart. Also, when you double click as usual, you can make some really high level customizations to your session 
volume profile HD to give you the capability to really get more granularity with each zoom. It is called HD for high definition because you are truly getting a high definition look at the trading action within a specific session and of course depending on how zoomed in you are. Okay, let's go ahead and delete this. Now go to the next tool and final tool, which is the visible range volume profile, which we've already spoken about, but we want to end on this tool because we just want to double click to remind you that when you click style, you will have similar styling options available to you as all of the other volume profiles. So you can change the color, look and feel of every single volume profile. And just to walk you through some of the basics, this VAH is value area high, VAL is value area low, developing POC is developing point of control, developing VA is developing value area, and by checking all of these, you can have these lines added to your chart as well. For many of you, you may not know what the value area is, and the value area comes down to what you type into the input box depending on what percentage of volume you want to see. So if you really want all of the volume to stand out, you're going to go ahead and click 100 or 100%, and now the entire volume profile is colored in because you want to see it all. If you only want to see where 25% of the, you know, trading volume occurred where did that key amount happen well you're going to see now it really siloed off here this of course is going to depend on you and how much volume that you want to see or what areas you want to focus on you're also going to have the capability to change how many volume bars are displaying here by changing your rows layout and your row size also, keep in mind we told you about the up volume and down volume, but there are definitely some traders who prefer to just see the total volume as one simple color, which you can do as well. Or if you'd like to see the delta, which would be the change between all of this, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and end here just on Let's go ahead and end here on total volume, so one straight color. Now, this walkthrough was designed to give you the resources, tools, and guide that's needed to get started with such a tool. This is a high-level overview, and we want to remind you that there is more information in our Help Center to give you these deep dives, and our YouTube channel has more walkthroughs, but on our YouTube channel, we have specific walkthroughs into each tool with actual examples. So. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, be sure to read our Help Center, and thanks so much for watching.